Okay guys, welcome back. Today this is going to be a really super quick tutorial on how to make a microwave. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get these measurements and this little template off of my website. So go ahead on there. It's um, dollhouse miniature madness and tutorials.com and you will find that there. And basically I've taped this together just so I kind of know what goes where. All right, you have two sides, a top, a bottom, and a back. When you're cutting your pieces to fit the template, you are going to want to make sure that you label what it is or tape it together so you know. This is B, this is T, so I know this is the bottom, this is the top. Um, as far as the door, we went ahead and cut a rectangle out and then we cut it here and here and we did this on the bandsaw so that we had an opening and then we replaced that piece with another piece of wood right in there and glued it there. I figured I wouldn't show you that because that was pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so now that you have all your pieces, you need to go ahead and sand them. Once you have them sanded, you want to take your two end pieces and tape them together and put some glue right here on the edge. Try not to do too much like I just did. After you've done that, you want to fold your pieces of tape up and have it standing straight up. You need to keep this square, so if you're not sure if it's square, you get a square and square it. All right, then you have the bottom and you have the top. Make sure your edges are even all the way around. Put some glue all on there. If you don't wait until it dries, then you're going to have to readjust it. Okay, now you're going to put that on there like that. Make sure it's even in the back, and it's even in the front, and it's even on the sides. If it's not, push it forward so that it is. Put it on a flat surface and press it down toward the back if you need to. Okay, so once you have that done, you're going to glue the top on, apply your glue right around the edge. I like to blot mine just a little bit to try and get rid of some of the bleeding globs. And then you're going to place that on there, but gently.
after that, you're going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue right here. And you're going to add your control panel piece. Okay, so once you have that attached, then your door will go here. Now the easiest way to add your door to this is by using um, either a duct tape hinge or a special hinge that's made that look like these. They look like miniature staples. Um, you can do that or you can um, look at the tutor tutorial for the duct tape hinge. And right here you can print out some controls or you can paint your controls there. Now if you want to do the glass in here, you can get um, either like some frosted plastic or you can get some regular plastic from like scrapping of recycled stuff. And you can attach it with two-sided tape like I did the stove. And I just painted the inside with some acrylic so that we would have like a texture. You can do the same thing for that. But basically, this is what it would end up looking like before it's painted. And I will put the template and everything on my website for this so you can download it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials. And on YouTube, like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day.